Hi, welcome back to another episode of Spit or Swallow with your favorite, favorite, favorite host in the world. Literally, favorite host. Show me anybody better. House of Chocolates and um, welcome back to Spit or Swallow. Today, today is a very special day as per usual. And with me, I have two, not one, but two, F M F. <laughs> Two special guests in the studio, and we're talking about fantasy, we're talking about writing, we're talking about erotica. I have with me Ola, a sex influencer, <laughs> a writer, but an erotic writer, more importantly, for the purpose of this episode. And <laughs> I also have another writer. Um, She's also very multifaceted. Uh, she does many things, but she writes fantasy. She writes erotica. Ore Badmus. <laughs> Hi. Hi, guys. Thank you Hi. for coming. Welcome to the podcast. Thank you for having us. <laughs> <laughs> I've not had you guys yet, so come down. <laughs> We're getting there. Yeah, so I'm going to start with you, um, Ola, you know. Uh, while celebrating the house please let us know how how did you get into um sex writing how did you get into erotica fantasy i like your instagram as well it's very fun your content is very fun how did you get to build that community <coughs> you know someone here someone here was said he has been following you for four years so clearly you've been in the game even longer than me self so five years five years mm-hmm. of sex wow sex writing. <laughs> 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 All right, then. So, um, um, funny enough, erotic, erotic writing, erotic has came in. I, I stumbled upon it actually. That wasn't what I started off doing. Mm-hmm. I started off by writing um reality things that happened to me, and um, that was it. Before delving into fictional things, so um, when 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 I started back then, um, started with writing on your WhatsApp status, <clears throat> then put it in on Twitter, put it on Instagram. Mm-hmm. So trying to get people to like help me retweet this, but by me retweet, retweet this and, mm-hmm. and likes. So um, the thing about writing is that yeah, you need probably one of your stories to just go a little bit viral, mm-hmm. so you can get the traction that you need. Mm-hmm. So um, one of these I was just writing a fictional story, and then it got to a part whereby there had to be a sex scene in it, and I thought to myself, should I just keep or should I just go in depth into it? So um just while doing I just I just felt okay fine, let me just write, let me just write something and then I had to use one of my experiences to just write a particular scene. And then boom, they're like, wow, guy, this is nice, this is good, blah, 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 blah. We want more, this, that, and and that was it. So I realized that people actually loved the sex part more, more than, the, than the, the love and the, love and the yes. So that was how it just came and then I just kept it, I just capitalized on it and went just from there. Sex writing. Interesting. Yeah. What's your favorite story? Written. My favorite story. Yeah. Well, um, I have three novels though, so mm-hmm. there are lots of stories. Favorite. Are your novels like short story, <coughs> like collection of short stories? No, 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 no. There are three novels. One is like a whole book novel. Look, sorry, two are like a whole novels: The Sugar Mommy and um, The Roommates. The mm-hmm. novels. Then Costing to Kids on Other Stories is a book that has like sixty-four stories. Sixty-four story. Why not? Yeah. Sure, maybe sixty-nine. But it's cool. Sixty-four. Oh, <laughs> sixty-four stories. I, I didn't. I didn't think about it. I have sixty-four yeah. stories. So I don't want to, I don't want to touch my novels, but I want yeah. to touch the short short stories, yeah. which would be my favorite. Mm, I think it has to be conflicts. Conflicts. Yeah. You you give us a tiny synopsis of conflicts in a second. Or right, I want to <laughs> jump to you. How did you get into um you know erotica, fantasy writing, you know all of that stuff? Um. So officially, I would say the year of COVID. 2020 yeah. but before then i had toyed with the idea um i opened an instagram page one time um it's called Pade Mini Koro. Mm. in english it means <laughs> you know means me in the corner, corner. Mm. <laughs> um, i think i have just maybe one or two stories up there but i didn't go through with that um but in during the lockdown a friend shared something that she wrote a personal experience i'm just like hmm. I can do this thing, you know, and I wrote a short story and that short story became a six part series. Mm. Um, and that's how it sort of took off. And so then, before then you hadn't, you hadn't thought of like writing erotica? Um, no, not to publish. But, yes. Maybe just in my head. 
Yeah. Yeah. When I think about, you know, like um, fantasy writing and, you know, sex and stuff like that, the first thing that comes to my mind is like Harley Quinn and Mills mm-hmm. and Boons. And, you know, mm-hmm. for a lot, of, a lot of times we talk about how um, porn influenced men in terms of sex. I think for women, for a lot of us, yeah. it was those like those romantic novels, like yes. novels and you know i flash back to and i think that that's that's what shaped my la la land idea of like oh first time is gonna be so magical <laughs> and, and like even when you ask women like i i've noticed that women like uh, a lot of women like to engage like this kind of writing they also like um audio like deep sea stories you know those kind mm-hmm. of audio erotica as well because a lot of times women want the entire story not just oh back 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 you know like yeah. in the build up Everything like the passion the exactly and stuff and you know it's always the bad guy the one with the dark hair on mm-hmm. the, the <laughs> <job. laughs> yeah so so right. yeah so I feel like for me it was definitely like you know those kind of, and it was so funny how they would they would all have like the same theme. They would say, "Oh, his member," and then, "Oh my God!" Every single time they fucking, they fucking <laughs> describe the first time people had sex. Please shoot me. It's like, oh, <laughs> she just felt a tiny, a sharp, tiny sharp pain, pain. <laughs> and then it was just pleasure Fun. after. She just got <laughs> and he held her, and I'm just like, "Shut the fuck up, bro." I mean, everyone's experiences are actually different. I think that. Um, the world's perception of like parents and just also they made me think that sex was like the most painful thing ever or like the first time it's going to feel like someone is tearing you with knife type stuff i, I was always afraid of that oh my god there's going to be blood mm-hmm. everywhere type mm-hmm. moment but it really wasn't the case for me as well mm-hmm. like yeah it was painful but it wasn't like a it wasn't anything mm-hmm. deep and i think that sex generally shouldn't be painful if you have like enough like lubrication or you're well you know aroused and stuff and yeah why are, you, why are you looking at us? No, no, <laughs> Tell no. me about your first time, love is out. Mm, <laughs> can I remember actually? You what? can't remember. <laughs> so this is the Nokia. At, at times, I, f- I feel like I have like two first times. Okay. So that's the thing. I can't actually tell Which if one? I penetrated the very first time or did not. It's still very, very vague in my head. That's why you but thought you were first, first, time, first time for you, not for the other person. Mm-hmm. So yeah, yeah, so yeah, you weren't me. sure if it was in yeah, between so her laps was, or I was, what? I wasn't sure. I, I don't, I, I, I don't think drunk? I did it. I wasn't drunk. It was a rainy night and then oh she just came to background it was a rainy night <laughs> i'm a writer so she was just there and how old are you maybe 21 or so okay so i'm i'm, I'm choosing not i'm choosing that not to be my first time so okay. the very one i'm going to come my first time yeah that was i think when i was 22 years in school and mm-hmm. um was that one boobs. magical uh, big boobs yeah big boobs uh, so i should be like in 2014 or 15 mm-hmm. and how was it it was fun so wait, I don't understand. How did the big boobs come in? No, no, no. I'm just trying to remember. Remember how, her. It's funny, funny how like like eight or nine years after we met again and you continued where you left. Mm, just a couple of months. Mm. Just a couple of months. That's yeah. cute. Yeah. I have a similar story, Shad. So that's like meeting someone after seven years and picking up where we left off. But yeah. just for a couple of months for the for the nostalgia effect mm-hmm. yeah. and stuff. Interesting. Yeah. But how was that for you though? Like to the first time. Mm-hmm. How is it for men actually? Because a lot of times <laughs> when you ask men, it's always like, oh, it was my neighbor or my auntie or my this or my that. So, like, it's too many Nigerian men have been molested the first time they had sex. But some were exploring with their mm-hmm, age mates mm-hmm. or people that are slightly like, um, people that are like older. slightly older. Yeah. But yeah. Yeah, hey, um, my novel, The Sugar Mommy, uh, um, I think I portrayed myself as, as being a young guy and, and then I was this virgin by a 40 year old woman. Mm-hmm. So, that was, but that, but that, that wasn't what happened really to me. Yeah. Um, I think for we guys, it's just be when you watch porn already, you already know this is what you're meant to really do. To when your penis is hard, you just mm-hmm. dip it in and you keep trusting. Mm. That's just it. So there's no there's no pain. No more, no more. Your like d- your dick gets hard, no man. You know you know yeah. how you feel like when your dick your dick gets mm-hmm. hard. So yeah. it's just pure pain or true. But I said to myself, I made a vow to myself that I'm never gonna have sex with a virgin. Mm. I don't want to experience the old. Mm, mm. It's been, I don't <laughs> one of those. I came so close who's to supposed to clear I, the I road don't mind. For you. you could go do that before <laughs> we meet. That's fine. I don't think I've ever dated a virgin before. Okay, I have, but we never had sex. Okay. We never had sex. And I came close to doing the one. And the old man, I just I just knew no no, I can't do this. No, just go do it out there then. You can come back to me. Wow. So you you want to <clears> want to do the the main No, that's fine. I I I don't I don't I don't want to have sex and then I'm I'm the person is feeling pain when we are meant to be enjoying this. Yeah, but yeah, then, but then, then yeah, you but take your time to make sure that you know you ease them through everything. With the, with the sexual experience do. that mm-hmm. I have, uh, I, I don't want to stress myself basically. I'm always used to 
I don't know if some people that, read, people that are reading my stories, they, they, they already know that it's just come around them, bang, bam, bam, bam. That's so it. your own erotic crisis. So give me a sin. Tell me about the, the conflict story. Conflict. Yes. Oh, God. <clears throat> the conflict story is actually um, a true life story. Mm-hmm. I, I, oh, God, I'm confirming it right now. <laughs> so probably see it Too late. <laughs> but funny enough, the girl would actually even, even know that I'm talking about her because it's just crazy. Most of my stories are actually... Um, Adaptation from something that is real, mm-hmm. and at times I get I get I get DMs from people saying, "Ah, oh, Lavez, you write you write so good. Like, um, can you fuck the way you write? You know, um, I imagine myself being the girl in the stories. Mm-hmm. This and that. Mm-hmm. I get those like that. And do you so. go and fuck them the way you write? Do, what did you say? Do you go and fuck <laughs> them the way you write? I won't confirm or deny, deny. that. Okay. Yes, no I'd rather stay on the fence. Continue. But then again, I, I won't deny that I'm, I've, I've, I've had sex with a couple of my followers. Okay. So just sex to me it's not been yeah. a big deal mm-hmm. and um so how this happened i was just, i read a story and then she was just intrigued by it and then she just came to my dm and said something that should be like on a sunday yes that was on a sunday afternoon and then we got talking about the stories and she was like ah lord commander lord commander because that's like my tied to in the fictional world, oh, she yeah, lord really like fictional world yeah. mm-hmm. and then before we, knew, we just started talking about okay I, i've been reading your stories i like the way you blah 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 can you do this we just kept talking like like probably like 12 a.m. or 1 and, and then the following morning, which was a Monday, we were still texting and she was working, um, she was working remotely. Mm-hmm. And then I was like, Do you want to come around? And like, eh, this guy cannot come around. Uh, before I knew it, yeah, I'm, I'm bringing my laptop to your house to come and work. And <laughs> and that was it. And then seeing her, she had like um, mm-hmm. you know the kind of girls that you see, and you'd be like, this girl, like we are above your league, you know. Mm-hmm. Big guys, big boobs, fine. Yeah, like, this is for big boobs. <laughs> like, I'm, I'm, funny, I'm, funny, it's no, a running I'm, 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 I'm not a boob yeah, person. Boob guy. I like. What do you like? You like, like boob? Very, very yeah, and as you don't need to, it doesn't have to be as big. But just, just have the curve and be soft. Be soft. Okay. I'm very, very keen on texture. Texture. Yes. Ooh, texturized. Yes, exactly. Boob. But then she, she came around, and then I'm always very, very shy the very first time. I don't, I don't like to even initiate the move when they're with me for the very first time. I just like being like. Yeah, you read stories about me, but I'm different. Like, this, this is me. This is all I the writer. This is not yeah. the fictional bad guy. Yeah. And then she was like... This is not Lord Commander. <clears throat> yeah, she was like, what's wrong with you? What's, the, what's wrong with you? And she's like, she's... And, you know, <laughs> and then she was like, come here, come here. And before we need like that, fiam, fiam, She said, come here, come here. So she, yeah, yeah, so she, she didn't work. No, 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 no. She, she brought me class in. No, I, as in, she, she, you know, she came to do remote work, so she did not work. She, she was... The laptop was down in bed and we were just... Just walk a bit, we'll then we'll go dumb. back. Uh-huh. And the funny thing was that it was very, very amazing. I mean, we did almost everything. Mm-hmm. The fact that she was Hope even his protection leaving. Show. She was even leaving. <laughs> and um, I don't know anything about that. But yeah, please, um, safe sex, please, okay? <laughs> um, she was even leaving. And she, she was even waiting for her Uber to get there. Mm-hmm. We're still like, come on, let's just do like before. So it was very, very, very crazy. It's all detailed in the book, in the, in the story itself. Um, Where can we find this? Do we have story. do we have to buy them? Or are they available online? Or <clears throat> yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, it's it's available online on my on my website. Check my page. See my see the links to like, the books there. I usually have okay. those stories written on my page on my page on Instagram. Okay. But then because I put everything in a book, I actually just take it off my page. page. So if you want to yeah. read those that I've read, that those that were on my page back then. Mm-hmm. So if you want to read those stories, you have to like buy the book and read them. Mm-hmm. Or you can go to my Twitter and just search conflicts and then you mm-hmm. see your stories. All right, let me jump to you. So um, out of all the things you've written, like what's your favorite? Can you give me like the backstory or the inf- um the inspiration for anyone that you have written? Mm-hmm. Um, hmm. I think I'll be biased to say that the first one is my favorite, but I would say this, the second series, mm-hmm. why? Because of what's, you know, how it happened. Um, so that's based on true life experience. Mm-hmm. Um, so, you know, during COVID now, we're all locked up, bodies were charged and mm-hmm. when the, whatever was lifted, during that short period, it was yeah. like, everybody find everybody your person. Find yeah. So I met someone online at the time. And, you know, we set a date to, you know, see and all of that. And I went to his place and just, you know, as things were about to get really heated, his girlfriend came in. Oh. oh. And okay. <laughs> it's Blood this twist. Twitter thread. Plot <laughs> twist. About... How um, did you find out someone is married? Mm-hmm, things like, yeah. yeah. So I was just like, well... Written something about that, mm-hmm. so um, so I made a three part series from mm-hmm. that experience. 
garnished it. Um, I just, I like... I sprinkle, the, sprinkle. Yeah. <laughs> so I like the... The I like how it came about, and but wait, did, did anything happen when yeah, she entered? I was gonna say, yeah. Oh, um, it was, it was the scene. I had to hide away. grab my clothes from wherever they were. Whoa. Um, I didn't know he, he had a babe because I asked that day, you know, just some minutes before, and he, he said, said no. no, Nigerian men. Fear <laughs> men. What if I said yes? <laughs> what if you said yes? Yes, would you still have been down to uh, um, that's that's for me to know. <laughs> <laughs> aka yeah. yes <laughs> <laughs> but um yeah so she came in screaming and it was, it was now how did she know she was seriously outside I don't how even know she... I don't maybe know maybe that nigga has a angry girlfriend kink or something maybe know. he sets you up because that's peculiar mm. how did she come in how did she have a key mm. and it was like oh she's my ex but she has a key mm-hmm. anyway so I just grabbed my clothes I, let, I forgot my phone had to go back to get my phone and you know leave um, but yeah, but I mean, I had to finish what was started. Right? Did, you, did you see him after that? No, 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 oh. <laughs> no, no, I don't do that. <laughs> yeah. So I called someone else to, you know, come and finish up. So yes. Mm-hmm. yeah. Yeah. So all of that. So don't be hitting the same, but you know, sometimes <laughs> I'll just do what you need to oh, do. Oh no, it was, it was perfect. Oh, it was? Yes, mm. it was perfect. So yeah, I think that's my, that's my favorite. Mm-hmm. So basically, yeah. you gave us the tail. Where can I find? Is it still on? It's on my medium. It's yeah. Me- okay. Yeah. I'll look but it. it's garnished. Yeah, okay. Yes, with Ladies. some fiction. Yes. Yeah. 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 It is a little palatable. Yeah, we, <laughs> we need to always garnish those things. Yeah. Right, so we don't yeah. Like but the other stuff. one that I said, you know, I have a bias for. It's called throuple. Mm. Um, and of course, that starts with you know that's about you know, um, three people in some relationship. So there's a couple, the husband and the wife, you know, looking to spice things up. Mm-hmm. And then there's this babe um, who went for an interview. They had met somewhere else. She met her boss somewhere else and then met him at the interview. Mm-hmm. Um, she walks in on him and his wife, getting it on in the office. You know, the wife actually tells her to come in and watch and it just takes her from there. And, yeah. And then they, they, do they continue like a whole relationship? Yeah, or? yeah, it's continued. And then wahala happens. Well, so you know, you have to like conflict somebody. here and yeah, there. Yeah, yes, yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, that makes sense. That makes sense. Would you actually be in that kind of setting in real life where you would have like, a, if you were to have like extra partners in your setting, what would what would it be like? Just for that moment or like a reoccurring thing. Yeah, like a reoccurring. Even if, even if it's not reoccurring, like mm-hmm. just in general, what kind of like multi-partner setting would you like as mm-hmm. a person? As a person, I like to double. So maybe MMF, mm. FMF sometimes, as long as everybody's carried along as to expectations or the lack of expectations. Um, yeah. Well, if But could you be with somebody who had like, an emotional partner as well. Um, hmm, very interesting. Some months ago, I would have said yes, but some things happened. I just realized that some my emotions I are very, very <laughs> important to me. <laughs> yes, yeah. Um, if I were to explore that, I would like to be removed from that situation. So I, I wouldn't want to know what's you know. Going so parallel, on between... parallel type of polyamory where it's like you and you and him when you guys are doing then whatever he's doing is mm-hmm. not yeah. you know, involved in that. So most of the time I I during the peak of my writing I try to stay away from emotional um, entanglements. Mm-hmm. And that's because um um during those there was this old face period which was mm-hmm. In 2021, so mm-hmm. very, very, very crazy. Yeah, it spiked up um, body count to God knows. I don't know. I can't even say it out there. Even if you don't say that. <clears> how many bodies in 2021? You don't even say the whole body count, but like that's 2021. Like how many? Sorry, 2020. Sorry, that was last year. 2022. Mm-hmm. Um, I I cannot categorically. <laughs> is, it, is it is it is it is it more than 25? Just for that period. <laughs> Okay, give me, range, give me a range. Give me a range. Give me a range. Commander, give me a range. Let's say, okay. Um, okay. Yeah. 50, One to fifteen. Fifteen to thirty. Thirty to forty-five. Okay. Forty-five to, <laughs> 45 to sixty. 
Six so, feet to, for the year. Saying, no, I don't mean your entire. I just mean that your whole face. How many bodies in that whole face? Yes, I, like I, I'm not going to use my mouth and say anything at yeah, all. Okay. You understand? So probably she just stop at that number. Then you, you could just let people just use their mind imagination. To, so around to, that, to, that from yeah. exactly. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> Interesting. So, but when you count them, do you count like um, orgies as well? So let's say an orgy where there are like six people. So you now count all those six people and put them on your list. Well, as long as I penetrated one person, that is the count. That's the count for me. For you, okay. Yes, that's the okay. count for me. But I'm changed now. That was that's my past. My whole is life. Well, I don't believe in the whole thing. But it's that's okay. Past, and what was the best you. thing you say happened to you in the streets? In the streets. Yeah, when you were in your whole phase, like a a most memorable experience. I think one I'd remember was when I met I met someone, and she was actually bearing my son name. Mm. She was older than me, like like twenty years. 20. Yeah, okay. We're being the same son name and she had this affinity towards me. So you call her auntie? No, I call her first name. <clears throat> She's a doctor, so she came all the way from Abuja mm. to see me in Lagos. This is your writing, just they give you oh, <laughs> more. I it, mean, it, my business. It, it, it has its good side it and also has its bad side. Yeah. Mm-hmm. But the good side is supersedes the bad side for me. Mm-hmm. Most, of people, most people seem like, ah, you get girls in here, and, and it's good for me because I don't have to, I don't, I don't have to walk on the street and say, Hi, my name is Ola. Oh, see you somewhere. No, I, I can't do that. But it's easy for me when you when we are texting on DMs and you're like, ah, right there, you are my blah, blah, blah. And it makes it easier for me. And to so you know out. how to wash girls and run them streets and be like, by the time I grab your breast like this type thing, every, but in a poetic way, poetically. <clears throat> it makes it easier for me because they read, they read the they read stories the story and then they want so, to. So they know. Yeah, they so there's, only, there's only for you to put way too that much, much effort in the mm. way when the connection is already there. Oh, interesting. Yeah, that's it. That's wow. it. That's it. Yeah, but I'm trying to just tone it down a bit now and um, I won't get serious in my life. What? I was one person and then she told me this that um, even if you're doing all these things, as long as I don't catch you, I don't see you, that's fine. Mm. So it's up to me to that know one can be a whole podcast topic. That's <laughs> conditioning that Nigerian women have yeah. had that oh, don't. as long as you don't bring it to me, then you're yes. being respectful type thing. Mm-hmm. I think that it's just a protective or defensive mechanism that women use I because agree. you know they've told you all men, men are going to cheat, cheat at some point. Well, I if do it, let me catch you. I will stab it. Exactly. If we agree. <laughs> if we agree, if we agree, me, I'm, I, I feel like I almost sound very anti-monogamous because I'm just like, I feel like relationships are sets of agreements and you guys just need to design what works for what's you. Mm-hmm. I don't like the fact that once people think of marriage and they think of serious relationships or settling down, they have to basically let go of a lot of their sexual side. They have to suppress, you know, some things that they like because they feel like, okay, yeah, I'm getting married now, so I have to be serious. I have to stop having sex. No more threesome. Mm-hmm. No more this. No more that. I need to do this. I need to do that. And it's like, that's why people keep cheating because there are many things you can suppress in this life. You can never su- suppress your, your true sexual nature because this thing, is, this shit is fucking natural. And I believe that people in life have the right to have sexual experiences and explore and even peek in that in that area it's like okay self-actualization for your career for for love for this and that i feel like sex is also something that you owe to yourself to reach the limits Mm -hmm. and the bounds and stuff and yes there are going to be some experiences that you and your partner will have together that will make you guys grow you guys will try everything explore Um, that, 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 that and there should be some things that will be separate for both of you your partner should be able to do whatever they want. Not do whatever they want to do. Obviously, they should. Because would I'm you meant. say that there's like some agreements? <clears throat> like, yes. FYI, yeah. this is going to happen at some point. Exactly. So that kind of stuff where you're like, okay. But every, it looks different for everyone. Like, mm-hmm. a sample can be like, so there's something called monogamish, right? Where you people are like, okay, yes, we're each other's primary. We're together. Um... Then maybe when we're on holiday, you can if you do anything on holiday, it's That's, open season. Yeah. You do anything on holiday, or sometimes we'll swing, or sometimes we'll have a threesome. We'll bring people mm-hmm. in and stuff. But me and you are each other's main. Yeah. There's some people that are open physically, where it's like, okay, yeah, this person is allowed to have different um, mm-hmm. partners. Mm-hmm. This one is allowed to have different partners. Some people is more of okay, the wife is bisexual. This one is allowed to have babes, yeah. or yeah, we can have threesomes together, or I can even date somebody. And then some people have like. Yeah, we can actually have emotional relationship with like other people and stuff. But then they have rules of, oh, you must introduce your your mm. other partners to me. I must yeah. know whoever you're yeah. with. Mm. But some people's like, I don't want to know. To don't know. tell me. Yeah. You know, yeah, allowed, blah, 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 blah. I guess 
I feel like men are swing. engagement differ. Yeah, it just differs. It's just down to you. I feel like men have swindled some women to believe that when they are pregnant and when they ha- when they have a baby, that <laughs> anything I do, you don't expect me to have sex with you. Know? <laughs> and that's some bullshit. But the thing is, a lot of times it's like men do this shit regardless. How just many women it. actually have the mouth to enter their relationship and be like, yo? This is what I want. This is what I want. Mm-hmm. Me too. I want to try this. Me too. I want to go and chow pussy when you're not there. I want to see if I mm-hmm. like that, you know? Mm-hmm. Um, it's really just down to like the person and stuff. But yeah. Um, people think that, you know, if there are no difficult feelings attached with something, then it's wrong. Mm-hmm. It's like, okay, we have a threesome. I feel some type of way. It's something to discuss and be like, okay, when this happened, it made me feel like this. This was mm-hmm. like, oh, it wasn't my intention. Or, oh, yeah, I got excited or blah, blah, blah. And that's healthy. And yeah, it's healthy. And they're moving forward, you know, that's, and it's actually okay because you may never know in, in the abstract, something might sound sweet and everything. Mm-hmm. And then you just see one babe just riding your man and he's now <laughs> making one sound he has never made before. It's very okay for you to be jealous. Yeah, and be like, yeah, like, ah, like, which one is that? Yeah. Yeah. Or the girl is riding. Let's say you only ride for three minutes. She's now giving 15 minutes. Mm-hmm. And so, oh my God, just made me remember one tweet. I saw of one babe saying, when they said you catch your partner cheating and the girl said that she, um, it was his birthday, she was expensive. So she now she entered saved that. money. Yeah, and then she said that she entered the room and the girl was riding her man aggressively. And I was just laughed. like, what the fuck is aggressive riding? Like, what she... It's so, a yeah. <laughs> Do you understand? So, so obviously, it's very, it's very okay for, um, I mean, almost everyone that has yanned me three some stories, there's always that um, oh, one person did. So, or sometimes it depends on if the two people are like, let's say the two babes are like mm-hmm. friends and the other one doesn't really send, then there's re- never really drama. But you know, sometimes it's just like, and I remember there's one gif and one popular video that moves around where um, they will say, This is why I never do threesomes. The girl was just standing there with the bonnets. Her man was facing, was pumping the, the other one, going, bah, 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 but she was just there with her bonnet, just looking Time. like they had. Any time now. You get, they had excluded her <laughs> entirely from the narrative and stuff. And I mean, you know, there's also that thing of like some friends sneakily using threesome to sleep with somebody's man. Oh, let's yeah. have a threesome. But yeah. you just know that you, oh, I just want to enter there and fuck the guy. You now enter actually, you know? An ex of mine actually told me shortly into the relationship, oh, it's your friend, you know. I had just moved to Abuja then. She said, ah, it's your friend. She's coming to Abuja. Yeah, mm, okay. Can we? I'm just like, uh, <laughs> the relationship is not even warm yet. <laughs> Let's all cook it a Do bit. You know? Let this shit cook. Yeah. So it, you just have to discern, like, okay, who, why, you know, do they want to try all these things? If it's just. But then, funny enough, speaking of fantasies, and there's this like sex researcher, Justin Lemila, he has this book called What Do You Want? It's about fantasies and fantasies in America. And they do like a survey of like maybe 8,000 or 5,000 people, ask them like what they actually want in bed. Da, 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 and stuff and one of the most um common fantasies for men is a threesome and a threesome with their partner's friends like a lot of times yeah and so so those kind of things when you see the research it makes you take certain things less personally they just fantasize they dream oh my god my wife and her best friend they mm-hmm. like that kind mm-hmm. of it doesn't mean that he's a love your best friend it's mm-hmm. just that it's just that you as someone that they like, someone that they like having sex with, you being there is important to them for mm-hmm. like, oh, wow, this is something I did. If you tell them, go and sleep with two random babes, like, no, it's not the same. I want you to be there, but mm-hmm. I want your friends to join and stuff. Mm-hmm. And so that's how it is, you know. And um, the book is really good. He breaks down stuff like what people like, like kissing. um, um, And then the kind of people people fantasize with as well. It's like, okay, women fantasize people that they don't know. Men fantasize people that they know. Is the face there? Are they kissing? Mm-hmm. What position um, What position do they have the fantasies about? Yeah. You know, all, all sorts of I stuff. I fantasized about someone that my, that's caused an issue between me and my partner. Mm. Yeah, so like... The girl. Yeah, yeah, the girl. So I realized, mm-hmm. oh, okay, this person is becoming a person of interest in our relationship, right? But I found myself fantasizing about the third party while mm. we were having sex. Mm. Does that make sense? No, it does. It does. It yeah. does. I feel like um, sometimes that is like a form of control mm. when you visualize the person and in your fantasies, you decide what they do and what they don't do mm. and stuff. Some of it is some people even some people even want the person to actually come and it's like okay fuck her in front of me and just mm-hmm. you know I I feel like those are ways that human beings get to like deal with, with those stuff. kind of situations and stuff yeah because yeah. I was just like this is so dark <laughs> so so were you were you were you, were you fant- fantasizing as a threesome or were you fantasizing as you were the one with the babe or what was it that I was the one with the babe 
interesting. Alone. Yeah. Uh, yeah. So I, th- yeah. I think, I think, I think for me, what, what my psychology being would say is just you trying to take control of right. the situation in some manner and stuff. Yeah. Um, do I have any? Uh, what to the left fantasies? I think also another thing is: Have you ever had those moments where you could where you where you switch people out and so say you're having sex with somebody, but you are swapping somebody's somebody. head? Absolutely. Absolutely. Or maybe scenario. So let's say you're, you're having sex with conflicts, but you put your ex's face inside. Do you get? Oh, yeah. yeah. Based on you're missing somebody, you now <coughs> maybe 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 if it's, if it's very very terrible, and then I just lose my eyes and just imagine. But even when else. it's not terrible. Even when it's not terrible, I don't know. But the funny, the funny thing about about I don't I don't know if it happens to other guys, but at times for me that some people that <clears throat> after you have sex with them, the very very okay, the very if it's for the very first time, mm-hmm. you have sex, the whole rush of missing for the very first time. Mm-hmm. After the very first round, where you are strong enough to want to like pump mm-hmm. and pump and pump and then you come. Mm-hmm. He, he, um, so what they call this in post not clarity, clarity yeah. sets in, mm-hmm. and then you're like, okay. Mm-hmm. Why did I fuck this babe? Self? They've really not been attractive. And then she wants yeah. to come for a second, and you're like, I think you swap someone you in your head. Like you don't want, you, to you don't keep want to you do, going. But, but then you don't want to make me the person look Feel bad. bad yeah. yeah. So you just, just stay in there. But then you get, probably might not even come until you're yeah, done. You just, you just mm, okay, okay. Make no blast out. No. Mm-hmm. Do. And there's some people that, people that you do the very first, first round. <clears throat> you come, you clean up, you come out again, and then you're still like, so mm-hmm. strong, you're like, yeah. What the hell? Yeah, I love that. So it's it's it's, it's, it's different. So it's <laughs> social with that with that kind of first person, you just have to like just mentally Visualize. create create mm-hmm. a picture it's and feel like yes, yeah, so you, okay. you just do, do yeah. the needful and so. I mean, I call it post first thrust clarity shot. You know where it's like, and th- I think that that's one thing that. So me, I have my own. I don't necessarily say rules for myself when it comes to sex and stuff, but I, I just have like certain like guidelines and everything and. Um, I don't want to ever, I hate ever being in situations where I'm like, this wasn't necessary. Like, why do I have sex with this mm-hmm. person? Like, mm-hmm. just, you know, yeah. exactly. So, I don't, to be honest, I won't, I won't say that. It's, it's just the experience. Like, yes. My own man, I call it waste yeah. of vagina. Like, why did you waste my <laughs> vagina? Do you understand? Mm-hmm. So, I I never really want to be in those situations. And I always say, like, sex for me is for pleasure. And I just don't, don't waste my time. Do you understand? But sometimes, you, if you never try, you never know. And like, if they come, you give them. It's not good enough. I want out and, and all yeah. of that. Yeah, but and I understand like doing a second, but I mean, I know if oh, I can't be for me in second round if I, it's not good. But to be fair, I've actually been lucky where I haven't really had like shitty, shitty like um sexual yeah. experiences and stuff. It's just I think um me being that person that does like comparison game in terms of okay, there's a standard to beat and stuff, and I'm just like, are you getting there? If not, you know, I'm just like boom. But in terms of like other fantasies that are um, um what's your standard? What's my standard? <laughs> what do you mean standard? You just you just said so. Um when I can feel it everywhere, do you get? So I can feel it not just in my genitals, I can feel it in my chest, I can feel it in my skin, in I can feel it in my brain, that type of thing. Yeah. And just what you said about, <clears throat> for instance, like Oh, you come first round. I don't like people that take too long to start the second round. Don't waste my time. Do you get? Mm-hmm. I like people that can go for a long as time. You know, um, I like people who are balanced in terms of like sensuality and like acrobaticism. Mm-hmm. So right. it's like, yes, you can carry, art, you can fling yeah. me, you can do this and that. And sometimes you can be connected and very sensual and very like, I, just, I like when people are really connected mm-hmm. to me, but it's not for everyone. That's only emotionally, mm-hmm. only physical one. Mm-hmm. I mean, I like my acrobats for the physical one. Fling me, do this, do that <laughs> and everything. And just like, and obviously, like, I also have, like, a speck of penis. So I have a dick speck as well, so... Oh, they're slightly curved to the right. Oh, my, I don't care about curves. I think I actually like them quite straight. Straight. Straight, straight to just the point. deliver systematic piping. Oh, <laughs> <that's> <laughs> systematic. There's... No, no, I don't need all this. What I was... Stress. My vagina yeah. is here. You know, <laughs> just go... Just in and you know, out. Gina, don't try and gimmick. Yeah, and oh, my God. I hate this. When they're going to be doing that. Like, what are you doing? This thing was this? Just deliver. <laughs> Do you know like that? Thank you. That's like, all. why are you? Yeah. Why are you for me, <laughs> you know. snake man? Like, relax, baby. Relax. <laughs> make my just fucking it's not. not. You get. It's not here. Yeah, let's come. Let's us okay. fucking come down. So yeah. So no, I'm not. I like. There's like a, a certain okay. kind of thickness that I like okay. as well. And I like when the girth is like uniform across board. You know, some like they're skinny at the top. <laughs> 
And then uh, <laughs> yeah, they're skinny at the top, then they get oh, fat towards the ash, or you know, just get, or maybe like, the cap is big, the cap is big. The shaft is <laughs> thin. <laughs> I don't like I don't like the mushroom type, please. It's like, yeah, because you know like that one will just open the road then. It's like there's nothing to grip. Like, <laughs> we're spinning a little <laughs> I'm yeah. So yeah, you know, just good meaty. I also like it like long as well. So just like a decent above average. I'm definitely a size queen to a certain level, yeah. Okay. You know, I like penises that can deliver. Yeah. But yeah, oh my god, I feel like we've been talking for so mm-hmm. long. Um, <laughs> so quick question: spit or swallow? Hmm. Spit or swallow? I, I don't understand. Spit or swallow? <laughs> what are my spits? What are my swallow? <laughs> what do you spit and what do you swallow, Lord Commander? <laughs> swallow. I don't swallow anything. You don't swallow anything. Mm-hmm. You don't you don't speak. Can you like be specific and then then me answer you? Probably. Yeah, no, that's actually <laughs> then my podcast spits or swallow. It, I it, should just choose anyone. You choose anyone that you prefer. It can be if you like the girl spitting or swallowing. It can be if you like spitting or swallowing. No, I don't swallow anything. Though. Don't swallow anything. Yeah. Do you give head often? I'm selective. Okay, fair enough. Fair enough. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. So yeah. spits or swallow. I guess spits. Okay. Cool. All right, mm-hmm. all right, body, <laughs> bad muscle, <laughs> spit or swallow, ah, darling. I have to think what's my answer. <laughs> well, hmm. <laughs> uh, okay, so I swing both ways. So if mm. it's for the guys, I moisturize <laughs> with it. Mm. Yeah, moisturize with your face. No, 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 no. The oh, what's the happening? Yes, okay, with it. Yeah. So you know, it stays and comes back. Oh, I love that. <laughs> yeah. Um, for my girls, swallow. Oh, love it, love it, love it, love it. <laughs> Thank you so much. Thank you guys so much for coming on the podcast. This was a really fun episode. Mm-hmm. Um, yeah, okay, so plug your socials. Um, love is that where can we find you? Lord Commander. Yeah, um, <laughs> <clears throat> um, everywhere, Twitter, Instagram is Love is Doubt. L A V E Z Z E D O U T. Okay. Well, and Ori, where can you be found um, if you want to be found? Let's <laughs> <laughs> <best> find you. <laughs> well, so um, unlike him, I don't have like a platform, oh, for, platform for that. My, yeah, for my yeah, but articles. just your general stuff as yeah. well. Yeah, I mean, if you want to plug anything else that you do, um, just at Ori Badmos, the Ori Badmos underscore on Twitter. I think that's perfect. That's fine. Okay. Yeah. She said, don't find her anywhere. <laughs> okay, I'll probably check him out. Oh, um, my love is us. Calm down. Calm down. Let the camera off. <laughs> Follow me, House of Chocolates. Follow the podcast at Spits of Swallow Pod on Instagram, SOS Pod Official on Twitter, Spits of Swallow Pod on TikTok, and subscribe to the YouTube channel. Thank you, guys. See you next time. Bye. Bye.